The Shire of Mundaring is home to a unique array of flora and fauna, and it's one of the reasons that makes this place so special. Unfortunately, a deadly plant disease called Phytophthora cinnamomai, otherwise known as dieback, once infested in our bushland can greatly impact our local biodiversity. Today, we're all gonna be learning a little bit more about dieback and what we can all do to stop the spread. So Bruno, what is dieback and why should we be concerned about it? Oh, dieback is a group of uh, microscopic water moulds and they can survive in soil, water and plant roots and they affect the plant roots which then causes the roots not to be able to absorb water and nutrients so ultimately it causes the plants to die back. Uh, once we lose these plants up to 40 to 50 percent this causes a massive impact on biodiversity but also ecosystem health. So what I mean by that is that when we lose plants, there is less fauna habitat, there are also less resources for fauna to actually eat and survive. Other impacts of Phytophthora can be bare earth areas are created where the plants can't grow, and then we have issues with erosion and the flow-on effects of an increased fire hazard. So in areas of bushland like this that doesn't look amazingly healthy, is it easy to tell if it has the disease? Not always, Tracy. Um, there are many other factors that can cause plants to die back. And in this case, in the forest environment, we have issues like um, insect attack, we've got fire damage to plants, and we've got drought as well, and there are many others. Um, in some cases, the plants die back very quickly, and that's a telltale sign for us that it could be a Phytophthora dieback, such as grass trees can die very quickly, and so can banksia such as this, which once infected, they can actually die within two weeks. And is it just native plants that are affected? No, it's not native plants, it's also garden plants as well. So how widespread is dieback in WA? Unfortunately, it's very extensive and we found it as far up as Kalbarri, all the way down to Esperance as well. But within these areas, there is still some very good quality intact native vegetation, which a lot of different people are actively managing very well. And right here in Mundaring, a lot of active management is occurring. For example, with the Shire, They've undertaken a lot of dieback mapping to find out where the disease is. They're also following up with treatment and they're putting in signage to inform the public and make them aware of the need to clean down. So Bruno, how does dieback get into bushland in the first place? Well, dieback can be introduced particularly along uh, tracks and trails like this one. So you see this banksia here that's died. This could have been caused by Phytophthora dieback. So let's say a mountain bike rider came along this trail or a bushwalker for example and they had mud or soil stuck on their feet from another location they could bring it into the site accidentally and it could fall off on the track and then cause the plant to die like this. And so once dieback is here is it going to stay here or will it spread further? It will oh, definitely spread further particularly when it's um, high rainfall areas such as this one here in Mundaring. Um, the rainfall causes the Phytophthora spores to move, they can move between soil particles and also from root to root contact between plants down slope. So this is a really big problem that we have with Phytophthora once it's in an area. We really need to keep our equipment and boots and our, our shoes as well as our tyres clean when we, whenever we enter natural areas. So Bruno, what can we do to stop the spread of dieback? Well, areas where the dieback's already been introduced, Tracy, uh, dieback specialists can apply a biodegradable fungicide and that protects plants and trees for about two to five years. But in areas where there's no Phytophthora dieback, the best thing we can do is to prevent its introduction from the very start. And the way we can do that is for the public and the community to apply three key steps. Step one, arrive clean. This means before people enter bushland, they really need to clean off all sand, mud or organic material stuck to their shoes, tyres, tools and vehicles. You can use a brush to remove dry dirt and spray wet soil surfaces with a 70% solution of methylated spirits or a commercial grade sanitizer that will kill the Phytophthora spores. Step two, tread lightly. This means staying on designated tracks and trails and not going off them into bushland because that could spread the dieback. And finally, step three, leave clean. This means you do the same clean down procedure when you leave the bushland and that will help to prevent carrying spores into the next place you visit or even your own home garden. So three easy steps, arrive clean, tread carefully and leave clean. I think that's something we can all do. Simple. Well now our boots are clean, shall we go for a walk? Sounds good. Let's go.